Hey, have you ever wished that you can use Go High Level to route calls based on factors like what time of day it is or what day of the week it is, or even other factors like whether it's the first time the lead called or not? Well, I did for a while and I was using a separate system that cost me $300 a month uh, because it was really important for me to be able to route calls based on these factors. However, Go High Level released their IVR feature a few months back and ever since then, I've been able to put together a system in order to make it work. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Justin. I run a company called Lead Brain, and as I solve these problems for me and my business for my clients I like to make these videos just so I could show you and hopefully it helps you and makes it easier so let's hop right in I always like if this is gonna be a technical video I am sharing my screen I always like to explain sort of the historicals beforehand because I think it helps give some context on why I'm making this tutorial so I needed a solution to to route calls to different phone numbers based on a few factors and the three factors that mattered most to me and for you it may be different and you can mess around with the criteria once I show you how to do this you can modify it for your use case but I wanted to know hey was this the first time they called because if it was the first time they called I didn't want to talk to them personally as the business owner I wanted them to go to a call center that I had and this specific use case uh, I was doing direct to seller marketing for real estate investing and wholesaling and a lot of times you get calls that come in and people are saying like hey remove me from your mailing list or they're just calling uh, you know to schedule a, a cash offer call Whatever it was, I wanted my call center to pick up that phone first and ask them a standardized set of questions in order for them to pass it to me and update my CRM and then I can go in and know that I'm talking to somebody who's serious and somebody who's already been through the qualification call. So if they were the first caller, I wanted to send them to the call center. But if they were a repeat caller, then I wanted to come through to my team. So that was the first uh, factor. The second factor was time of day. So I have a full-time W-2 job. Everything I do here is a side hustle. Uh, so it gets pretty chaotic, but most of all, if I'm paying for marketing, I wanted to make sure that somebody could answer the phone whenever the inbound lead started to come in. So whether that's routing the calls to the call center from the hours of eight o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the afternoon, or maybe uh, routing it to my business partner who's able to answer the phones uh, throughout the day, and then routing it to me in the off hours and on the weekends. Uh, this workflow was able to solve that. So in here, um, we're gonna use the Go High Level Interactive Voice Response uh, or IVR system to configure a workflow. Uh, it's gonna look a little complicated here. It's just a, a snapshot preview of it, uh, but really it, it's not. And, and you can simplify it uh, for yourself if you're not worried about the re repeat caller stuff. If you're not worried about the repeat caller stuff, you can remove that. And then also you can sort of tweak uh, the, the, the settings for yourself. So let's go ahead and hop in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come into Go High Level and we are going to, we're gonna create a new workflow. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. And we're gonna call this workflow call routing. Awesome. And we're gonna add a new trigger and we are going to start IVR. And then we're gonna select this phone number and save. If you have multiple phone numbers, you can select all those phone numbers. Uh, and let's go ahead and add an action. And the first action is we are gonna use an if else statement to determine if this person calling is a repeat caller. So this condition, I like to name them. It doesn't matter what you name them, but I'm gonna name mine with something descriptive. And let's start with no. So if contact tag does not include the tag repeat caller and we're going to create that tag because it doesn't exist and go down this route and then we can duplicate this and we can make a branch called yes tags does include repeat caller all right so don't let this confuse you. All this is doing, it's asking, hey, when a call comes in, does this contact already have a tag named repeat caller? If it doesn't, we're gonna send them down the no side. If it does, then they're gonna go down the yes side. And the reason we want that is because we want all new callers to go to our call center. So first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to add a tag here because this is the first time this person's calling and we're gonna add the repeat caller tag. So the next time they call, they don't go down this route. So repeat caller, awesome. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to connect call and we're gonna connect call, let's call it call center. 
And instead of routing it to a specific user, if you had your call center set up as a user, then you can select the user from the drop down list. But here we're going to add a custom number and I'm going to make up a phone number here. Please don't call this number. It doesn't belong to me. I'm just making it up. Uh, let's see. Two, one, two, three, four or five, eight, five. Awesome. Uh, there's some advanced settings here. We're not going to go over this. Uh, we're going to like, keep that where it's at. Um, just just default. Keep it simple. And there we go. So as it stands right now, if somebody calls in, they're going to hit this workflow. If they call in on the phone number that we selected in this trigger filter right here, then they're going to hit this workflow and the system, go high level, is going to check whether it has a repeat caller tag or not. If it doesn't, then it's going to add the tag repeat caller and then it's going to route them to the call center. Now, let's say that they are a repeat caller. Now we want to do something different and then we're going to, we're going to get pretty cool here. So here we're going to create a conditional statement and we are gonna say, let's call this, uh, I'm looking at my notes here, business hours. So we're gonna filter based on business hours. And we'll start here and say, let's see what I got. Let's say Monday through Friday, eight to five. Let's, let's name this Monday through Friday, uh, 0800 to 1700, military time. Now, what I name these branches or what I name the conditional statement is arbitrary. You can name it whatever you want, but I think it's best practice to be descriptive here because if you're ever troubleshooting or you're trying to train a team member on this, uh, it's, it just makes it easier for them to be able to follow. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select the criteria. Uh, we're gonna go to date time and we're gonna say current hour. Yep, current hour is on or after, and let's say eight in the morning, 8 a.m. Yeah, there we go. And then we can create an and and say current hour is on or before five o'clock. So let's look for five o'clock, make sure it's PM. So right now, as it stands, it's gonna say, hey, if it's currently 8 a.m. or after and it's 5 p.m. or before, so that creates a time window, go down this route. But we also want to do Monday through Friday, right? So let's add some more criteria here. It's and. So and. We're going to go back in here and say current day of the week is, oh, we should say on or after Monday. And then sort of like we did with the time, another and current day of the week is on or before Friday. So now we got Monday through Friday, eight to five, that's our branch. And then we don't have to do this. Uh, I mean, you can create another branch here and then get more specific with the other hours. But what I'm gonna do here is gonna rename the none branch to everything else. There we go. So if somebody is a repeat caller, meaning they have the repeat caller tag, they're gonna go down to the yes, uh, the yes path and it's going to do this check is it business hours monday through friday eight to seven cool if it is then let me make sure we're not skipping anything we are going to connect the call let's say connect call to business partner this was my use case. You can connect the call to yourself maybe in this situation. Uh, if your business partner was a user, you know you can select him as a user or her as a user, but let's add a custom number and this is gonna be a random number. Again, don't call these numbers. I'm making them up. 212-485-9869, cool. All right, so we're good there. Now everything else, so if it's after business hours or it's on the weekends, we're gonna go ahead and route this to my personal phone. So connect call and most likely you're a user in your own system so you can select your name in here but I'm also just going to add a custom number let's say I had my Google voice number I wanted them to connect to um, let's make one up awesome and connect call personal line name this whatever you want so at this point our system is said and done it's that simple so now we have a workflow don't forget to publish it and make sure you allow re-entry, which should be on by default. But at this point, we have a workflow that when someone calls, it's gonna check if they are a repeat caller. If they are, then it's gonna go down this yes path here in the middle. It's gonna check what hours are business hours. If it's in business hours, it's gonna route it to our business partner. If it's outside of business hours, it's gonna route it to me. I'm gonna 
full-time W-2 guy. I'm not answering the phones uh, during the day, so this works for me. And then if you come over here and you look at the repeat call or not a repeat caller side, meaning they don't have the repeat caller tag, then we can go ahead and uh, add the tag repeat caller and connect call to the call center. Now, one extra filter I did make was I included an extra filter on the, the new caller side because we found what will happen is, is like somebody might call once, they get connected with the call center, for some reason they get disconnected or they hang up before we can qualify the lead. And so at that point, we still want them to go to the call center. So one of the extra filters I did here, so if you click on the repeat caller side, one of the extra filters I added here was an and, and I would say contact details, full name is empty. And I should really just change that to a or. So if the lead called in and they either don't have the repeat caller tag or their full name is empty, meaning that the call center didn't get to qualify them because that's the first question they ask, the CRM's not updated for some reason, it's gonna go to the, uh, to, to the call center. So uh, that part you don't have to do, but that's something that we ended up doing in our business because we saw sometimes People either got disconnected or they didn't like who answered the phone and then they ended up calling back later. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, comment down below if you'd like to see more like it. Have a nice day. Peace.